we are going to be learning the chain stitch, the single crochet stitch, the half double crochet stitch, and the double crochet stitch. The four basic crochet stitches. With them you can do anything. This is the basic stitches. So we are going to start with the chain stitch. And before we start this chain stitch, we have to learn how to make a slip knot. Because every time we start a new project, we start with a slip knot. So let's take our yarn and see how we make the slip knot. There are many, many ways to do it. What I do, and I find it really simple, is take your yarn from the beginning, leave a little bit here of a falling yarn, make a circle like this, okay? And insert, like if you're going to make a knot, insert the yarn inside the circle, and close it like this so you can pull this part of the yarn and here you have your slip knot okay let's do it again you leave a little bit of a yarn tail here you make a circle like this like if you are going to make a knot insert your yarn inside the circle and pull it through and make a knot not like this and then you can pull this this is the slip knot all right so now we are taking our crochet hook inserting it inside the slip knot like this now how to handle the uh, crochet hook how to put it in your hands it really depends on you. There are many ways that people use it, but you have to find what's more comfortable for you. I used to, I'm very used to, and I like to hold it like if I, like a pencil, if I'm writing with it, okay? So with my two fingers here, I hold it like this. Some people, hold it like this. Some people hold it like this. You have to find the way that it's more comfortable for you. There is no rocket science here. <laughs> there is nothing special and there is no best way. It's just what's comfortable for you with your hands. So I hold mine like this, with two fingers here, and then I have these other two fingers that I can hold my yarn here. So let's start the chain stitch. I will hold my hook like this, insert it into the first loop here that we made with the slip knot. I will hold my this yarn tail with my two fingers and I will hold the yarn with my two fingers here. Now, for the yarn tension, and this is again something that you will see all kind of different ways to hold the yarn. Some people hold it like this, they uh, loop it on their finger and this is how they hold the tension. Some people hold it like this, many ways. You have to find what's more comfortable for you and your hands and how you move yourself. What I do and I recommend is put your two fingers, the yarn between these two fingers and hold it like this. Put it around like this. So you have a kind of tension here that you can uh, control and it's more comfortable. So, we have our hook here and we want to make a chain. How do we do a chain? We have to go with our hook, 
beneath the yarn and pull it inside the loop like this so I hold my tail yarn here I loop the yarn around the hook and then I pull it through the loop here again I always have one loop on my hook this is a loop a chain that I will always have on my hook I yarn over like this and pull through the loop yarn over like this and pull through the loop now maybe you think can I yarn over like this no it you can but it will be harder but it's okay if you feel more comfortable you can do it but usually we yarn over on top of the of the hook it's more comfortable and pull it through yarn over on top of the hook and pull it through I want you to make a chain of at least 30 chains and try to make them loose not very tight I will show you if I am making it very very tight it means that I'm pulling the yarn very very tight here and pulling it very tight like this and making it uh, so small that I will not see the chain afterwards on the other hand I don't want it to be so big so loose like this okay I want it to be in the middle you have to practice that it's not very tight on the hook and it, but it's not very loose this will be very very tight this will be very very loose you see so we want it to be to feel comfortable on the hook so we yarn over the hook and pull through the loop yarn over the hook and pull through the loop again yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through this is the chain stitch this is the beginning of every project that we will make and you will make in the future when you are very very experienced and advanced there are many other possibilities to start a project without a chain it, uh, it's called uh, starting a project with the first row but this is for more advanced uh, uh, crocheters you will get there but we have to start at the beginning so the beginning of every project starts with a chain me myself I don't use the other uh, the the other um, possibility to start a project with row one I always start with a chain all right so I want you to make a chain of 20 or 30 and practice until you feel that you can do it like this like me very very smoothly and you don't have to use all your fingers and pull the yarn from one side the other just find what is more comfortable for you how to do it you see I hold my hook like this and I just like walk with it walk with the hook I go instead of pulling the yarn over the hook with my hand I just walk with the loop with the hook and pull it with the hook and pull it with the hook and pull it like this all right so this is part one we learn how to make the chain stitch I'll see you in the next part where we are going to learn how to make the single crochet where is it the single crochet stitch this is the first stitch it's the smallest stitch and we'll talk about it in the next part of this workshop